Well, the pandemic has left many people frustrated and lashing out under circumstances they normally wouldn't as the world heads back toward normalcy. Will it change how we interact with strangers? Here to talk more about that, News 8 medical reporter Dr. Mary Gillis. <laughs> Well, physical environment and social interactions are inextricably linked. And uh, according to health behavioral scientists, when one is affected, so is the other. The pandemic put people in survival mode, as one expert put it. But now people are slowly bringing their guard down, both physically and emotionally, as pandemic fears subside. Many are now smiling at one another on the street. There's more excuse me's, pleases, and thank yous in the grocery store, among other places. I spoke with Kimball Richardson, licensed mental health counselor at Community Health, who explains why there's been this shift. We were all wearing masks. We had a little tiny bit of anonymity, and we could maybe get away with a little bit more behaviors that perhaps were rude that we normally wouldn't. At the same time, some of the pressure has been lifted a bit. So we have a little bit of wiggle room emotionally. And when you put all that together, people are nice to each other again. He also says when people are experiencing a little less fear, they want to connect, even if it's a brief interaction with a stranger. And as the environment shifts, people are relearning how they can be safe with others in public and do it politely. Based on his own experiences, Richardson says he himself has seen a change. He's hearing, he's hearing more pleases and thank yous and excuse me's. Uh, if anything, he adds, this pandemic has taught us to be more kinder and gentler to people in this world. We make it easy for you to catch the complete interview with Richardson and read the complete story. Just grab your phone, head to wishtv.com and click on our As Seen on Wish TV section. Dr. Mary Gillis, Wish TV, wishtv.com and follow us on Facebook. This is so interesting to me, Mary, because um, <laughs> I, I hope that people are nicer mm -hmm. and act like they have some home training. Have you been, you know, experiencing a little bit of this? I I have, you know, and I've got to say, I've been, I've, people are smiling in the street, actually looking at people in, in the eye. And, you know, when I find myself getting a little bit kind of frustrated, I just, I think of my Nana. She says, Mary, patience is a virtue, you know, like mm. in the grocery store, patience is a virtue. So mm -hmm. just, you know, it keep, keeps me calm. And you guys are okay with it or? I, well, first of all, Nana's no, so tell Nana's your Nana she's yeah. very wise, okay? <laughs> Second of all, sometimes, I think some people could be a little bit more, I'm right. not talking about you, you you're Thank great. You. No, I'm I not think some, some people out, out, there out there could be a little bit more kind, because <laughs> it more takes polite. less mm. energy to be kind. That's right. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Does it? I, yes. Kindness still. is free, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, just I'm just kidding. Listen, we know. It's all good. All good stuff. Mary, Mary thank you so much. Thank you both. <laughs> Take